Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to talk about having built in redundancies in terms of equipment but before I do that if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags you can do so at reefbum.com and with that let's get into the video. So about a week ago I got a low temperature alert on this 225 gallon peninsula tank. The, the temperature actually got down to 72 degrees so that was really low. Usually the low temperature on this tank is 76, the high is 78 in the winter time. And what I discovered is that my 800 watt Phoenix titanium heater, which I've, I've always found these to be very reliable, crapped out on me. I did a close inspection of it, popped off the end cap. I didn't see any corrosion, but yeah, it was the heater and not the uh, the temperature controller. I used the uh, the Phoenix temperature controller as you can see right here fortunately I had a backup heater on this system the 187 gallon system I run two heaters two 800 watt Phoenix titanium heaters so I just simply took uh, one of those heaters this system can handle running with one of the 800 watt um, heaters I mean this this system was doing fine with one as well sometimes when it gets really cold outside like zero degrees minus uh, five degrees whatever it is the temperature in this tank you know would get down to 75 so I, that's why I added a second 800 watt heater to um, to boost up the temperature during those really really cold days so I I, ha I had the extra heater and it was fortunate because I was able to put it onto this tank and I don't have a local fish store around that carries those um, kind of um, heaters I don't have a lot of local fish stores at all here in uh, where I live in Vermont. So it was really good to have the, um, the backup. And what I um, ended up doing was buying a second titanium heater. Um, I bought one to replace the one that crapped out on me, but I also bought a, a second one as a backup just so I have it. The, uh, the crazy thing is I'm leaving for a week, starting this week. And if that had happened while I was away, man, that would have been a real problem. Because I don't think the tank sitter would have, um, you know, really enjoyed me talking her through replacing that heater. But my point here is that I had a backup to this heater, and yeah, so I, I really just decided it was good to have a backup, get a backup for this system as well. So I think it's it's great. Heaters don't cost that much, maybe 60, 70 bucks. It's worth it to have a backup heater if uh, something goes wrong. The other thing I think that's a uh, you know good to have and I've, I've done this for a long time is I've got two return pumps 200 watt um, royal exclusive uh, return pumps for this dream box and the same with this dream box if anything goes wrong then I can at least limp along with one return pump which is a good thing if I only had one return pump and there was an issue it would be a while before I get you know a part or a replacement so you know, my advice to anybody out there that's invested a lot of money in, in coral and in fish, equipment, have a spare return pump. It's even better, though, to have one that's actually plumbed in, I believe, to the system that would be running. Because if you're not home and the return pump goes on, you got a single return pump, then you're kind of, uh, you know, in a pickle, especially if you're away on vacation. Another thing that uh, I think is good to have in terms of a spare is a spare skimmer. At least have a spare skimmer pump. I have this uh, Deltec skimmer. So if anything ever happened to my uh, one of my two uh, skimmers, I could easily put it, um, replace it. It's not going to be the ideal replacement, but again, it buys me time until I can get some um, replacement equipment or, or part or what have you. Lastly, lighting. I think it's a great idea to have a replacement light whether we're talking about middle halides or LEDs I don't have really have one um, you know for either I've got some spare ballast from middle halide ballast so I think I'm gonna invest in a spare fixture probably LEDs just in case that uh, happens to me in terms of you know I'm losing a ballast and and or something else happens to the fixture so 
I just wanted to do a quick video about redundancy and how important I think it is uh, in, in, in reef keeping. You know, again, I'll say it again, we invest a lot of money in our animals and it's important to really think about having spare parts, spare equipment around in case something happens and you really, really want to try to avert a, a disaster. So, you know, heater doesn't cost that much. Doesn't cost that much to, uh, to have an extra heater on hand. Anyway, that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe, be well, later.